What's up my fellow Emmy nerds, your dude Sly here, and welcome back to part 4 of my Mass Effect Legendary Edition playthrough. Now in part 3, we sacrificed Caden to the gods, blew Vermeer to hell, and things are just peachy. In this video, we're going to start off consoling the crew, a few pats on the back, and then back to more killing. Up next though, the Pharaoh's colony and some suspicious activity. Bom, bom, bom. Now for some reason, Pharaoh's is one of those places that I kind of love to hate. Seeing those tall buildings jetting out of the clouds for the very first time, I mean, absolutely set my imagination wild. Kind of like the planet cities of Star Wars, I used to imagine what Pharaohs would have looked like back in the day, you know, when everyone's just doing their day-to-day -day business. All the skyway bridges, skyscrapers full of people all over the place. It's one of the cooler places in the game, but unfortunately, you don't really get to see... You know, too much of that, and I guess I kind of just played through this game so many times, or at least I played through this part of the game so many times, because it's slowly becoming one of my least favorite parts of the campaign, even though the area is probably one of the more, you know, cooler places. Anyways, there's Geth to explode and peeps to save, so let's dive back into it, and I'll check back with you all at the end of part four. Enjoy, guys. Alright, so we just did Vermeer. Caden, unfortunately, is no longer with us. So, let's go console the crew real quick, and then we'll uh, go check out Pharos. Commander, I know it couldn't have been easy for you down there. Making the call between Elenko and Williams must have been... I'm sorry, sir, I don't know if I could have done it. There is no right choice for something like that. I just hope I never have to go through it again. No, I'm not blaming you, Commander. I'm just... I mean, it's hard, you know? Saren's still out there, Joker. Hold it together. We need you. Don't worry, I won't let you down. I want to be there when you make that son of a bitch pay. Talk to Williams, my boy Garris. Maybe I can afford some better weapons. Hey! It was an honor working with you, Commander Shepard. Despite the losses, our mission was a success. Lieutenant Alenko's actions will not go unnoticed. His sacrifice has earned humanity a great deal of respect from my people. He knew what the risks were. Of course. A grim reality that every soldier must accept. Rest assured, Commander, my men and I will not forget what you have accomplished here. We will leave your ship as soon as you reach your next destination. Perhaps we will have the opportunity to work together again someday. I believe we will. You have my gratitude, Commander. Most people would have left our team behind. The Captain considers the mission a success. I defer to his judgment. Let me see what you have. Commander? About Lieutenant Olenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Uh, if you don't mind my asking, how did you deal with the losses on Elysium? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember it, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. 
When it comes to the survival of humanity, who gives a rat's ass about odds? We're gonna fight them. Damn straight we will, Skipper. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shanxi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. I'm sure Kirhi wants to brief you. I should get out of your hair. Do you have a I few should minutes? get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. I'll bet you have. I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. So what was it? Both, actually. But it took us a while to figure that out. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. <laughs> After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, counteract the effects of the genophage. It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Somebody's making a killing out there. <laughs> what did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation. 
to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. You mean threatened? Was that really necessary? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it paid off. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up, and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes, walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran. Blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties, and the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. They wouldn't listen. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that, but Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I'm gonna be there when you find him. Looking for supplies? You bet, Commander. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Oh, look at me with the funds. Didn't I just buy the assault rifle? 
Oh yeah, that's so. Good to see you smiling again. So, so to speak. speak. I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Steren's our top priority, but with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. What are you hoping to find? Usually, people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something bigger. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? No, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never serve on the Admiralty Board myself. Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't work that way in practice. People have always treated me differently because of who my father is. You must get all kinds of special privileges. I probably had it easier than most growing up. But it's not all good. People like my father have enemies. And they're not above using me to get to him. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. 
They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Saren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happened sometimes when... Alright, so, not sure what that was about, but let's get back to it. Okay, cool. It's working. Commander, you did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. Shepard. Shepard. <laughs>
All right, so now on to Pharaohs. Actually, I haven't talked to Liara. Let's go. No, she'll make things weird. system and then we'll go to first. Uh -huh. I don't know why they don't blink anymore. Bring somebody fresh.
No. This is what I get for taking teammates. It was decryption, right? Yeah. We are at Sony. Shepard. Thing with logic. An ominous hum. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. According to this, they received a supply ship just two days ago. The Rachni must have attacked since then. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Rachni didn't come from nowhere. One moment. These things are drones, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. I have it. This one came from Argos Row. Wherever it is, there's probably more Rachni there. Let's get to the bottom of this. 
Very well, Shepard. Yeah, I down. I always hate how it leaves an exclamation point afterwards. Don't really know if you actually collected everything. I always hate rocky plants. So much time to traverse. tunnels. But no trace of the crew. I smell Ragnai.
Oh, chicken out. It's even open. No, I think we have to go discover something first. here just to come back. It's up to the maker. Oh no. It's bugged go, out go, again. Go. Damn it. Uh.
First Lieutenant Duran, sir. 3rd Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment, and I am damn glad to see you. Shepard, Normandy. Give me a sit rep. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than lichen. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. We do have a ship in orbit. We could bombard them. Wouldn't do much good. They're moving around deep underground. The only time they come near the surface, and they're right on our position. You bombard them, you take us out too. Why are you out here in the first place? There's been a lot of pirate activity in this cluster. We set up a chain of listening posts in the local systems, in case they have a staging base. They're called Rachni. You get a supply ship in recently? Yeah, but that was an Alliance ship, Commander. I mean, it was a drone, running on automatics. But what... We've seen this before. It's a long story, Lieutenant. What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crapload more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operational. Aye, aye, Commander. You heard the man. Everybody pool magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. And if anyone wants a smoke, it's as good a time as any. I'll stay here and cover while you guys are out in the open. Wake me up if I'm gonna get eaten. <laughs> All patched up. Holy hell, sir. Talk about a near-run thing. You alright? I'm pissed off. When I get pissed off, I shoot things. 
find me more bugs. <laughs> Around here, they're more likely to find you. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right, that must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off-world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Thanks. Find me more bugs. Go to the creepy tunnel. Try and be more bugs. Area secure. 
secured. Is also going to have a big baddie in there. You're good to go. Now on to Pharos. Message coming in. Passing it through. through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence in the Attican Beta Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on Geth activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go groundside and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. Nice. 
back in the day. One of the reasons why I love this game was just stuff like this. In the middle of nowhere, on some random planet. Even though I guess it's not really that cool in today's standard, but it was back then. Aww. you never played the game before and you're just learning about the proteins and you know and all the other Mass Effect lore stuff that was was really awesome
Mountains. Made a little boost sound a little more uh, you know, passive, I guess. Not quite as prominent. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? Oh, no. I oh, this will be one. fun.
Shepard. I think it's in the air. If memory serves me right. It is a miracle the data module is still intact. Your pilot should be able to relay this info to your superiors. It is a miracle I didn't kill any of the monkeys. 
My monkeys. There's still more. Perimeter clear. No regard for native wildlife. Let's do it. Let's go check out some pharaohs. Yes, Commander? Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. I'll be okay, Commander. Just need some time. Okay. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Man, I really need to get a new gaming chair. This one's killing me. We saw your ship. Fight Dan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh!
sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No, uh, I'll go. Those Geth are bloody dangerous. Agreed. Glad to see some soldiers. Our numbers are getting thin. Get ready. Die if those the Geth will surely kill us all. How is a woman supposed to think with guns going off all around? I fear the Geth will kill us all. But I... This work must be completed. This work must be completed. The... Stop the Geth! Huh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Manners. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! Protect the heart of the colony! channels. Welcome back. doing it again. I'm glad it's not buggy. There we go. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. 
Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. What can you tell me about the defenses the Geth have set up? I don't have any details, but I'll wager it's a lot more fortified than the command post. They landed at least one Geth ship at Exogeny, and I've seen large walking tanks on the Skyway. Expect a hard fight. What else can you tell me about Exogeny? Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return for bankrolling the colony, we work for them. Their main goal is the retrieval of valuable artifacts or resources. Except there isn't anything here. Or if there is, we didn't find it. I wonder if that's what the Geth are looking for. Perhaps. As she said, we never found anything of value. Of course, the Geth could know something we don't. What do you need done to get this place back on its feet? We need those Geth destroyed. Arcelia's right. There are still Geth in the tunnels. We also have more mundane problems like food, water, and power. I'm not sure where we stand on those matters. You should talk to the people overseeing them. Is there anything I can do to solve your water shortage? Maka Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. If you, you mentioned any... something about a food... Davin Reynolds is tasked with securing food for the immediate future. What's wrong with the colony's power? Mayo Connell is working on our power problems. Do you have information about Geth? Nothing or... new. It's not a critical threat right now. But getting rid of that transmitter will help us defend against further attacks. Let's talk about Zoo's Hope and Pharos in general. Of course, Commander. Life is hard and often brutal, even without our current problems. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the Geth. But, despite everything, there's something tranquil about this place, unlike anything I've experienced before. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous, and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. How big was the original Pharos colony? We were nearly a thousand at the main site, 200 more at my outpost. When the first wave obliterated our defenses, we fell back to Zoo's Hope. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. There, there, dear. You'll get through this. Just be nice. You'll have to forgive my wife. Kalantha's not in her right mind. She just needs to relax and accept what's happened. What happened to your the wife? constant attacks have strained us all. She'll adapt. Is there anything I can do for her? No, she just needs time. Time to absorb everything. We'll be fine. What do you do for the call? I'm a medic. Or I am since the doctor died. I've tried my best since she was killed. Tell me about the call. I can't tell you much about that. You'd best ask Fidan if you really... Why can't you tell me? I just want to know about the colony. Fidan is our leader. Who better to answer questions about the colony? I have to go. Please. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we aren't totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh. I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? I'm fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. You're the one who repelled that last wave. Tis I. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge and he's mad. Rabid, maybe. Totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have a ship. I could bring in supplies from off-world. I'd rather you concentrated on the Geth. Food won't help us if they breach our defenses. Tell me about What's yourself. to tell? I came here with my wife Greta, looking for adventure, a new life together. This isn't exactly what we signed up for. Of course, it would be much better without the Geth. We were really starting to enjoy the colony before they came. 
Tell me about Zuzu. The colony is growing. Or it was. But you should speak with Fidan. He is our leader. Why should I speak to Fidan? Why can't you tell me? I don't want to talk about that right now. Speak with Fidan. I have to go. So long, Commander. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you, if you wish. What can you tell me about Zoo's Hope? A fascinating place, by all accounts. Though the Geth have made it treacherous. You might like it here too, if you gave it a chance, Commander. I never thought I'd stay in one place for long, but here? I will stay here. This place is barely holding together. Why stay here? I can't give you an answer to that, Commander. At least not one that you would comprehend. Why not try asking Fi Dan? Maybe he can tell you what I can't. <laughs> Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide... work with those geth glad you showed up i still need the power cells for this generator though would it help if i brought in some power cells from the normandy we can certainly spare a few the top of the line ship doesn't use the same parts as the old generator we've got the cells just aren't compatible if i find anything while i'm looking around i'll send it your way thank you commander i appreciate it i'm sorry but i can't stop to talk i have to deal with the water shortage is there anything i can do the utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have a ship fueled and ready to go. I could bring water in. Unless you plan to make a trip every few days, that wouldn't really solve our problem. We need to be self-sufficient. Tell me about the colony. We are a small group, part of a larger colony, before the Geth attack. You should speak to Fi Dan. It's his responsibility. He knows the colony best. Tell me about yourself. I'd rather not. This is not the time or the place. Please, help us or don't. Otherwise, leave me to my work. I have to go. I wish you luck. Such a charming place. likely others we need to activate as well. Does 
doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. There's two things down.
anyway. Turning this last valve appears to have activated the system, Commander. I can't believe the colony held out as long as it did. You don't want to go down there. What are you doing down here? Nothing I should be, and anything I shouldn't. <laughs> no! That was a good one. Very intense. What's the matter with you? Just invoking the Master's whip. Helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the Geth, aren't you? You're not the <clears> only one <throat> interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. He can't help us. Is there anything I can do to help you? Do you even want help? Help me? No. No one can help me now. I'd rather die fighting! I could help you if you told me what you're fighting. Not that kind of fight. It's like running through a thorn bush. The more you struggle... Time's up. Company's coming. Ask Vidan. Ask him about the- ah! Look out!
Oh, for 50,000 year old ruin, it looks pretty good. I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. Is there anything I can do to solve it? Locker Doyle has been assigned to that particular issue. Let's talk about of Zeus, course, Commander. Some of the colonists are acting strange. We're a close-knit group, Commander. Most of us have lost loved ones, friends. These aren't trained soldiers. Nobody taught us how to deal with the horrors of war. This is our home. We've watched the Geth slowly destroy everything that is important to us. Don't judge us too harshly. There's a guy living down in the tunnels. Is he one of yours? That would be Ian. He's very sick. He seems to be more than just sick. He hasn't been the same since the attack. <clears throat> we tried to help him, but he wouldn't listen to us. I can't help my people if they won't listen, Commander. Don't you have medical supplies? Something to help him? I wish it was that simple. Ian was a good man I'd like to have with us. Please, Commander. I'd prefer not to talk about it anymore. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. Hello, Gavin. Hello again, Commander. I killed the Big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Fork over the reward so I can get the... <laughs> I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Do what I can. This work must be completed. This work must be completed. You're the commander of the ship that just landed. Are you the captain of this freighter? Not originally. The captain died in one of the Geth raids. I'm the last crew member. We shouldn't even be here. The Solarian merchant promised us a fortune. I wish... I suppose it could be worse. What's wrong with the ship? Isn't she spaceworthy? There's too much damage. Maybe if the Geth stopped attacking, I could fix her. Then again, if there were no Geth, I might just stay on a while. What do you know about the colony? We just arrived a short time ago. It seemed like any other colony at first, but it's different somehow. What do you mean? It, it's hard to explain. It's kind of like... I, I can't describe it. I, you should speak with Fidan. He knows the colony better than me. What do you do here? I'm just watching over the ship, making sure she doesn't get any worse. <laughs> Nothing else. She's good for hiding in when those geth come over the walls. It looks like you're monitoring something. No, well, just ship diagnostics. It's nothing. I, I should get back to it, but if I down, what's the report on? I should go. <laughs> Maybe I can help you. What are you trying to diagnose? No, thanks, really. Now, please, I... They'll try to rebuild the command post soon enough. Arsenia! I'm grateful for what you've done, but your heroics don't impress me, Commander. I get the feeling you don't like me. How would you feel if you were hung out to dry by every government organization that ever promised to keep you safe? They should have sent a small fleet. Instead, we get one ship. And you're only interested in the Geth. Goodbye. 
Commander. See why people keep trying to colonize this world. Most of the infrastructure is still intact. Oh, you should drive underneath. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard, 
I'm here to remove your geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Pai Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're surviving, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. But they shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. Where is your daughter, Julia? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. <clears throat> Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. What was the building used for? Oh, yeah, we repurposed that structure to serve as headquarters for Exogeny. That's mostly offices with a number of uh, light-duty R&D labs. Exogeny is a master at repurposing anything and everything. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Ferros is a long way from self-sufficient. How did you get split up from the Zeus? Most of us lived closer to the Exogeny build. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... They... I hope you can get us out of this mess. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. What do you need? I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job. Sounds easy enough. No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not... Why do so people cool. always assume we enjoy putting ourselves in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. I'll look around if I get I the chance. I appreciate it. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. We ran when the attack hit. <laughs> it's just I wonder if I save and load. We did load. No.
Snipers. Curious those that stay behind. Point to this unless they're looking for something. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Baron. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after the I... Thorian. I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. 
You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me what you know about the Thor. I really don't know that much. I know it's very old. Thousands of years, even. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. Why do you think the Geth would be interested it's in the story? just a... Exogeny was studying it, but I don't think they found anything special. You stay put. I'll go open oh, some... Here, take my ID. Good luck with that field. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the... Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. You should contact Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us. We've gotta drop that shield and get back to the outpost. V.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division, Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. Tell me about the Thorian. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. 
the outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited, or non-existent. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services. Who's in charge here? Who All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. What do you know about I have Geth? no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. That's All enough for Going now. to standby mode.
Krogan. Identical to the last. We'll have to keep going. It's a big daddy. And of course, folks out. Come on, face forward. Now it gets fun.
exceptional, Commander. The fields will be down. We can go deal with this Thorian creature now. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of Geth, and end things off with a huge crash. <laughs> Keep your guard up. There still might be a few Geth inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. They can't do any real damage. We're on our way back. Just hold your position. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll just wait right here for you, Commander. This place will be crawling with Geth in a minute. Keep together and we'll get out of here in one piece. I could have swore there was like a decrypt one of these Geth consoles. Get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I, I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first place. Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm chatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create.
the Mako. You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard. Damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. <laughs> I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did during the Blitz, but your heroics aren't needed here. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you gonna tell them about the Thorian? Or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. What? I thought I was maxed out. I won't let you hurt these people anymore. Drop your weapon, or be prepared to use it. If, if, if that's the way it has to be? Heck, come on, come on! As if we don't have enough problems. Now we're shooting each other in the back. I did not it's shoot you in the back. It's my fault. I knew what was going on, and I didn't do anything. Don't you start. You do good work, and you know it. So what now, Commander? I'll deal with the Thorian, then make sure you're safe. The colonists won't let you near the Thorian. They die first. They're under its control. What else am I supposed to do? There's gotta be another way. I think there is. You could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopene, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. If we must consider it, drop it in a concussion grenade. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. We'll stay out of your way until you clear a path. Good luck. Any luck finding my workstation out in the ruins? I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. It wasn't too difficult. Well, I appreciate it. Here. You've certainly earned this. Thanks again, Commander.
gears. Almost done with Ferris. Like I said, for some reason, Ferris just isn't my favorite mission. Oh, come on. Even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Very well, Commander. Let's go.
tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. I won't! Just use a grenade, gas grenade on him. You would wake up. After I deal with the door, I'd be good to go. Let's go, Pink Rex. Just need to find this creature and determine what it what it is. This was not covered by my training manuals. <laughs> okay. Nothing's ever simple, is it? Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. Give me what I need, and I'll strike back at the one who betrayed you. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground and
someone has to do it. Suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. I came to this world in search of the Thorian. Saren needed its knowledge, and he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. 
The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. <laughs> Enough mystic crap. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Sarah. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right? What just happened? <laughs> I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Do you know what the Conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the Conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the Cypher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the Conduit. I only pray you find it, before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. Ten thousand years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent, it transcended all classification, and now it is gone. The Thorin was a unique life form, a sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom, yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature. But now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch <clears throat> Benezia's disciples. For nearly two centuries, I followed her learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. 
Many felt her plan was too dangerous, but I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. It's nice to finally get through. I hope Exogeny learned their lesson. Start over. What else can we do? I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Nedra. I never thought I would be so thrilled to see a soldier. Forgive my previous inaction, but under the Thorian's influence, every thought was examined and filtered. What will you do now that the fighting is over? I may stay, try to recover my losses. I can have new supplies delivered within weeks. Perhaps the colony will survive after all. Let me see what you have in stock. Of course. Return in the future, and I may even have more to see. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! message sent out to cross the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. It is only now that I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay is inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. 
You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Really? No counsel? Okay, so that about does it, y'all. We freed Chiala, saved the colony, got rid of that big plant heart-looking thing, got rid of Jiang, thank goodness, and saved the mother-daughter pair. Oh, all in a day's work for a specter. As always, thank you all so much for watching and for supporting Sly Nation. Now, in my next episode, we're heading back to the Citadel, and then we're going to catch up on a bunch of side quests that I've been putting off throughout the galaxy, including the mysterious faction called Cerberus. Who are they? What do they want? Well, we will find out next time in Part 5. Once again, keep it here for everything Mass Effect, and I'll catch you beautiful peeps in the next one.